In today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, one of the buildings from Rally Astra Complex uh, in uh, in Minneapolis, in the United States. Uh, this was a building uh, designed by uh, Minoru Yamasaki and Associates Architects, and this this was the architect who actually uh, designed the World Trade Center in New York. So I thought it would be cool to show you how uh, to model this kind of. Um, uh this kind of geometry and this kind of uh those big uh columns uh it's all made, made out of concrete and uh this was actually the project was renovated by uh bwbr architects uh in in uh, in 90s and um, we're gonna start with modeling one of these uh columns first and then we're gonna continue on to the rest so first thing i'm going to import i'm going to import this building uh, actually, I will import just this one side here, and now this will give me an approximation of the of the size, and uh, from here I can actually count the how many of these uh, uh, there are. So first thing, uh, let's 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 scale this guy a little bit, like so, and uh, let's go to the top. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually log this and let's start with the single line like so and uh, now I will just count how many of these there are so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's uh, 21 so let's do the division. Let's divide this into 21 segments. And uh, we know now that this is going to be one of those modules. And if I count uh, uh, here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gonna be nine in this direction. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this guy. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and let's move it here like so and I'm just going to count nine times all right so this is going to be uh, this is going to be our distance and now we know the proportions so first thing uh, let's uh, let's see so there's one two three four five one two three four five so on the fifth one there is uh, this glass so this will be the front this will be the back and uh, from there uh, we can we get the better idea of what we need to do and here I will just start by drawing uh, one line here and getting the height so I just want to see until uh, I just want to see here where does the, the actual Clinician start from so let's say it's here and I'm also going to just draw uh, the extension here until there and uh, let's also draw this guy here and this guy here okay so now once we have this we can go to the perspective let's move it here and let's bring it up like so so I, I actually want to center this so let's have the middle snap turned on and this would be it all right uh, and then uh, in this case we just want to actually have um, have the the correct uh, the correct inclination here so I'll just approximately draw uh, draw this angle and later on we'll refine it if it's necessary like so and now I have these control points I can either delete those control points and have them like this and this would be my inclination 
I'm gonna bring this guy up also here. Let's turn it back. 90 and sorry, it was 91, 180. And let's do it like this. So uh, now I know that this will be my uh, this will be one of those modules so uh, the best way to do this is actually let's start drawing a rectangle here I'm gonna do scale 1d and I'm going to bring it till there uh, let's bring this guy up so now we have uh, now we have the uh, the actual space there and uh, what I will do now I will take this guy and I'm going to uh, rotate it from this uh, position here uh, 45 degrees like so and I'm going to do this on both sides like so so now we just need to actually connect it and uh, let's let's create a simple line here and we will do now sweep 2 gonna select first rail second rail cross section and cross section <coughs> this will be one of our sides and now I will just mirror this guy here and I'm going to use orient command with the copy turned on so that uh, we have it on the other side as well as you can see here it's not the same that's because uh, we didn't do it correctly or oh, the the base of this is not squ uh, square so we need to do a scale 1d and correct it here like so and now let's bring this guy the, uh, next to it and it should be fine like so and we can uh, create this uh, with mirror and let's join these guys we can join them and here we can extract this surface and let's actually join all these guys together like so and we're gonna cap it at the end so that's what we get so I will now distribute this all around let's go until there and I will actually move it till there and now let's uh, let's get the middle point from here and let's bring this middle point to this line that we just drew and now we know that it, the position is correct and now what we're gonna do is we're going to just copy this guy all around uh, we can see that it's not actually meeting there uh, like like it was supposed to it's because we didn't actually measure the, this whole block so we can easily fix that by just having this top there and now I'm going to move this guy in the middle here and if I go to the top you can see that this guy is actually much bigger so uh, the easiest way to fix this is by using solid points on we can select these guys we can go to the top and what we can do is we can just uh, stretch this from from here I'm actually holding shift so it goes in in both directions like so and and once I have this correctly placed I'm going to uh, distribute it all around so uh, I'm just going to copy it now and let's see what happens I'm gonna mirror it on the other side and also have the back distributed the same way. Uh, 
all right and now the last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna extrude this guy here and let's cap it and let's bring uh bring it down a little bit actually i'm going to copy it here until there and this one i'm gonna just slightly move up so that there is a little bit of detailing there's actually uh, something that is going on in the building and uh, let's bring this guy here and let's move it like so so uh, at this point we just need to create the rectangle here like so and I'm gonna scale 1d here from this middle middle point here until until there and this will be our our glass this guy it's gonna be a little bit bigger here like so and and this would be this would be our building so right now I'm going to I'm just going to create a little bit of uh, detailing here for the glass and I uh, will render this out and I'll show you the final result. So here is the final rendering, hope that you liked it and uh, if you like this kind of uh, tutorials and videos please like and share and I just want to use this opportunity to present you with uh, how to run a workshop, it's actually called Rhino for Architects Workshop, uh, it will be uh, uh, coming up uh, next week next week we're gonna start with the sessions and uh, it's going to be live uh, online there will be uh, around 8 to 20 live sessions depending on the content and uh, there is two more days to register I encourage you to check this page out you can see the details about the workshop uh, on the first link in the description and uh, the, it explains everything how it's structured and uh, what what's going to be covered uh, it will be specifically made for architects, so uh, I encourage you to check that out. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. So take care and see you soon.